This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Sway in the morning. Shave four five. Silvana Imam is here, and um, I was reading um about her, this young lady um who who has challenged the status quo. You know, I was reading about this incident that happened in December 2013 in Stockholm suburb of, I don't know how to pronounce it, I would say Kartorp? Shadtorp. Shadtorp, yeah. okay. <laughs> a group of neo-Nazis um, attacked an anti-racist demonstration. They held a response um, of, to uh, the swastika graffiti that, had, that appeared in the area. A week later, this rapper who's here with us today, Silvana Imam, took part in a rally protest and attack. She p- performed a verse from her song called Tistas Nier. Tistas Nier. What does that mean? Uh, like, be silent. Silent down. Like, okay. be silent. Shut up, basically. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> basically, and, yeah. it, and it's a, a track that takes on the right wing Sweden Democrats, the SD, with lyrics about Nazis sitting in parliament. And I just thought, man, how brave is this artist to be pretty much making music that is um, exposing the government. Yeah. You know, something we used to do a lot here in the States, uh, but you still got artists uh, like Lupe Fiasco or Dead mm-hmm. Prez mm-hmm. or Immortal Technique that does that, but it just seems like we have so many liberties to do this. I mean, for you over there, first of all, welcome to the show, Silvana. Thank you. Welcome to Sway in the Morning. Um, I thought this was brave. What? Well, for, for me, it's like, I mean, maybe it's brave, but it's life and you have to do it. It's my, you know, it's my, just have to do it. I don't have a choice. Yeah. For me, I mean, this is, this is actually real life. Mm-hmm. I mean, I received a lot of threats and, you know, I went, went to my uh, friend's house and like in the woods hiding for a week because, you know, I was fucking scared. Yeah. But, you know. That was the best move I ever made because I will never, never let these Nazis, racist people, you know, get the best of me, get the best of us. I mean, we're, you know, we're just, um, we're here. We're, we should, you know, make our voice heard. Like, it's, uh, for me, there's no, there's no, you know, there's no, like, uh, it just have to be straight. Like, you have to talk s- straight out to the people. Yeah. That's how we change. It, it, you wouldn't realize how many parallels across the world you have when you, you talk about societies and, and, and then the, the issues that, you know, whether it's uh, uh, discrimination or injustice or inequality sexism. or sexism mm, yeah. um, uh, that happens. And even in a place like Sweden, which, you know, ironically, this is where they hold the annual ceremonies for the Nobel Peace right. Prize is held mm. out there, right? Mm. And uh, you guys have like gender neutral schools, right? Well, areas? it's there's a discussion. Yes, there okay. is. But I wouldn't say that we have. I mean, we're progressive in one way because there are small movements, which I've been a part of. I am a part of always. But there's still this uh, subtle racism, subtle homophobia, subtle hate against women. Women gets, you know, uh, are getting raped, sexual harassed. Uh, you know, it's just like, damn. Like like the whole world, you know, it's like this patriarchal system. It's yeah. just, you know, so just like up. you living in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Sweden. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> Sweden or New York? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. There's, I mean, there's levels to it. Yeah, I don't like. I haven't been here for like, uh, you know, that that I haven't lived here for a long time. Like for, yeah, yeah. You understand, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so, but there's levels to it. Of course, it's the same. It's just you know different issues. But right. what what is the music scene like where you're from? What what city are you from exactly? Stockholm. Stockholm. Well, actually, okay, that's the capital, uh, right? okay. Exactly. Well, yeah. actually, my father is uh, Arabic and my mother is Lithuania. So I was okay. born in Lithuania, mm. uh, okay. and I speak uh, Arabic. And so I moved to Sweden when I was four. Okay. We moved there. So. Um, what religion were you raised under? Um. My father is an atheist and my mother is a Christian. Okay. Oh, wow. So uh, I'm an agnostic, I wouldn't call myself. What, what, what is that exactly? It's like um, believing in something, but, but... Not quite sure what that is. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Like there's this higher power, believing in yourself, like mm-hmm. uh, the human power, the human race. You know? Okay. Now, th- was there a hip hop scene in Stockholm or what does it look like? Well, there is. There is. I would say uh, we have uh, it varies between being uh, progressive and raw and very outspoken 
uh, to being like rather flat sonically and lyrically speaking, I would say. I'm not dissing anyone, not like that, but uh, I'm part of this uh, crew called Respect My Hustle. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> oh, shit, what? <laughs> yep, RMH <laughs> management. Shout out to Bob Akazami. Respect My Hustle? Yep. That's funny. Damn, no, but it? we have, I mean, we have artists uh, such as Adam Tensta. He's been okay. uh, doing stuff here as well. He won a Grammy for his uh, first album. We have Dida Ebo in the By Me Less. We have Leslie Tay, who's just like dominating the R&B scene in Sweden. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we we have Sherry. We're, you know, we're doing good. So it's a blessing being a part of that crew, you know, the progressive one. <laughs> okay, respect my hustle. <laughs> yep, check respect it out. Respect my hustle crew. Yep. I like that. Uh, Silvana <laughs> and Mom is here. I want to um, play one of your songs, okay? Cool. And uh, which uh, number? Okay, so we're going to play, is it is it called Imam? It's Imam, yeah. Imam. It's my last name. Uh, okay, and that's your last name. Mm-hmm. We're going to play this. Uh, maybe you're from overseas, and maybe you're from right here. If you want to talk to her and ask her questions, 888-742-3345. I heard that in the rhyme. <laughs> Silvana Imam is here. That's um, Imam. That's the name of the song. And my last name. And your last name yeah. as well. Power Pussy. What, what, is, what does that symbolize? A freedom fighter, mm. basically. A freedom Everyone fighter. can be a power pussy. It's it's not about like gender. It doesn't have to be a female. I could be a power oh, pussy. Of course you can. Yes, way. Right. Yeah. Can, can you deem me a, officially I, I a power can, pussy? Well, we have to talk like longer, but I, I think I can. <laughs> oh, I just can't get my power pussy status. <laughs> so much work uh, as I've done with pussy, I can't get my status. Uh, Silvana, I'm not sure if you mention it in this song, mm. but um. When I was reading some of the lyrics, you have a line that says um, the patriarchy must be overthrown. Yep. And I wanted to know your opinion on if you could just like, I guess, take a magic wand. Well, not a magic wand. If you could really just assign people different roles or, you know, just create an agenda so that you guys could reach a good, stable environment in Sweden. What do you think are the steps to take? Well, first of all, we need to talk and communicate with each other we have to have schools who bring this uh who talk about this issue who treat uh the boys and girls equally not like you know uh saying nice things to girls and being like very aggressive uh to boys because this is what creates uh conflict exactly and this is what creates the gender roles which aren't really you know some people are not uh comfortable with them so basically, it starts with starts with the schools, um, I would say, and the you know politicians, of course. But I think, like, I don't know. I don't have. I'm sorry to say this, but I don't. I don't trust politicians in that way. Mm-hmm. So I think, uh, like, the movements we have in different countries. I mean, there are feminist movements here as well. Um, those are the ones who're gonna, you know, um, change from within. Right. You mentioned so. to Sway a little while ago that your mom was a Christian yeah. and your dad was an atheist. Yeah. What is it like growing up in a house like that? Well, it, actually, it... my, uh, yeah, he's an atheist, but his family in Syria are Muslims. So, um, no, I mean, it's, uh, it wasn't, you know, hard or something. It's like my mother went to church on Sundays and, um, you know, it, it was, you know, nothing, like mm-hmm. nothing special. No big deal. No big deal. No, no big, big deal. deal. No, okay. No. You, you, you will Sweet, vote. Mm-hmm. Go, 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 go. No, I mean, Sweden isn't, uh, it's, it's, it's not that, you know, um, uh, America is more based, maybe it's more about religion in yeah. America. In Sweden, it's, um, you know, it's more separate. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, how did that play out with your family, your father's family being Muslim? Uh, I read that you were voted homosexual of the year by yep. QX magazine, yep. which is Ow. the biggest and a, g- and game. lesbian of the year. And like, lesbian I got, I'm hitting. so gay. I got like two. Yeah. Damn, <laughs> pussy power so is crazy. Gay. Pussy like, power, right? Tracy? Yeah. Oh, power Max. pussy, yep. Heather. Oh, oh. Power pussy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was the straight girl yeah. version. <laughs> I couldn't win that award. I think it's, it's discriminatory because I can't win lesbian of the year. But I feel sorry. remember power pussy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you're I, a man, so you're very privileged. True. That's, <laughs> that's why the conversation got to be what, longer. That's what she said. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, how did your father's family react being Muslim to you being homosexual? Did the, did you get a lot of backlash? <laughs> um. Well, but this them is being the thing. Muslim, yeah. This is the thing. Like they live in Syria. 
Yeah. And I haven't, we have a house there, but I haven't been there since uh, the war. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, I don't think they know. Oh, wow. <laughs> so good Thank job, you, Sway. Sway. Oh, wow. Good job. Good job. You mean QX, the biggest <laughs> gay magazine in the world? <laughs> but you know what? Like, we're friends on Facebook, so, you know, they know, but they're, I mean, they support me. I they mean, support yeah, you? Yeah, my cousins, like, who are my age, yeah. are, you know, we talk to each other and they're like, Cool. You're great. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, Silvana uh, Imam is here. I'm going to take a few calls. Uh, we got uh, Big Rick from Cali on the line. Big Rick, good morning. Big How you doing? Rick. Big Rick. What's up, man? Back again at your sweat, Callaway. You know, I just want to tell the artist, did she ever come across a problem where, you know, like, she's doing it, she's doing the rap music, and then all of a sudden everybody that used to be rappers want to quit and say it's bad business for her to do it? What? What? How um, no, 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 no. what has <laughs> she ever come a prob came with what that rappers didn't agree with her because of what? What do you mean? Okay, here it is. She's rapping, but everybody else is rapping with her. She got on right now that she on. Everybody's like, I don't like rap music no more. I don't like that this type of music. Has she encountered that problem? Oh, you mean like, no, actually, uh, can I answer the question? Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, it's the opposite. I get people to listen to rap music who hasn't listened to rap music before, so. Okay, well, that's you know, great. And, it's all good. And um, how can people find your music? I want these people listening to be able to find uh, it. Uh, you can find it on iTunes and Spotify. Okay, Silvana, yeah. S-I-L-V-A-N-A. -A. Imam is I-M-A-M. -A and uh, Tyrone is on the line from Indianapolis. What's up, Ty? <laughs> What's up, Yo, what's going on? What's up, Sway? What's going on, Miss Heather B? How y'all doing? Hey. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, I just I just wanted to tell her, man, uh, yo, keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing what you do, uh, especially with what I do here in Indianapolis. I shoot videos, so uh, I just say, man, just keep doing your shit, baby. I Thank love, I'm already you. rocking with you. I'm rocking with you already. You know Thank what I'm saying? You that's, so that's Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Another thing I heard about uh, you saying your folks don't know. Well, guess what? The citizens know now. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Ty, you Thank a citizen. You, sir. A sway in the morning. <laughs> Savannah, I'm curious. Mm. How much, what would you say if you had to give a percentage of your music is revolutionary based? Like, what about, do you write like love songs? Do you have a Oof, girlfriend? I do. I have a girlfriend. Okay. Uh, her, her name is uh, Beatrice Eli, and she's a. Uh, like the hottest pop artist in Sweden. Oh, okay. uh, so, uh, yeah, yep. yep. I did that. I took that. I took that. <laughs> Get it. You popped that pop power yep, pussy. Yep. Damn. <laughs> yeah, she won like the best album of the year, uh, yeah. the awards. So she's um. Uh, Don't screw this say, up, yo. <laughs> I'm just saying she's she has this song out named Girls. She she sings in English, so it's um. So y'all wouldn't understand that, but um. Uh, no, she's awesome. Uh, I love you, baby. Damn. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you got me all ready. No, but it's, uh, I would say, like, revolutionary. It's 100% revolutionary because uh -huh. also, sonically speaking, in Sweden, the sounds that we're using are uh, progressive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like it sounds in, like, other Mm -hmm. Rap artist music in Sweden. Right. You know, I, I just did a thing with um, um my good friend Afrojack. Um, and... Um, we were talking about just the music scene o over there with Swedish House Mafia and all these guys. Yeah, uh, well, go ahead, talk to me. Well, um, I have to, <laughs> I'm interrupt. I'm really interrupting you, but I okay. have to say, okay, uh, I just signed. <laughs> no, you got excited. Yeah, I, like I was that. like, okay, wait, okay. I just got signed to um, uh, Ingrosso's uh, okay. record deal, Refune. Okay. So uh -huh. we're gonna do stuff. Uh, Okay, continue. No, no, go <laughs> talk about. So no, I was so, gonna ask you, have you uh, working yeah, with any of these guys? So exactly. No, Ingrosso is a really he's a he's a cool guy. He's, mm -hmm. You know, he's uh, he's nice, and I'm the first rap artist he ever signed, and it's in Swedish as well. So you know, and he's he's pretty huge like yeah. that. So so we have the same visions of uh, art because it's about art for me, and uh, and my art doesn't have a language like that. So you know, he sees that and. Hopefully, you guys will okay. also see it. Well, absolutely. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.